what is going on guys, I'm back with another video and today I am back on Genesis In today's video I'll be showcasing some of the latest updates that have been added to Genesis Now before we get into that I just want to announce a really beautiful giveaway once again of 10 of the Trinity Mystery Boxes There will be one lucky winner winning all 10 of these Mystery Boxes All you have to do to enter the giveaway is make sure you are subscribed, make sure to turn on notifications Make sure to like the video and comment your in-game name down below The winners will be picked in just about 2 days as always they will be announced in my community Discord, in the server Discord and on my pinned comment links of discords are down below in the description so definitely make sure to join those as always whenever you are playing genesis make sure to type colon colon youtube to open up the youtube voting page on here content creators like myself will be posting videos that they make about genesis whenever you see one of those videos posted make sure to give it a watch make sure to leave a like and subscribe to support the content creator as well as leave a nice comment together with your in-game name and then you would be able to click collect to get yourself some free caskets which can contain some amazing loots now to start off I'm going to talk about a brand new minigame that has been added. If we check out the teleport menu, go to minigames, at the bottom you will now find the raids bonus zone. So let's go ahead and teleport to here. Now there is one thing that you do need to keep in mind whenever you want to teleport to here and that is that you need to prestige your raid um, pre uh, skill before you can actually go to here. Now to prestige your raid skill you would need 2 billion experience and level 150 which would be the maximum. Then you would be able to right click and click prestige. You can do this up to 3 times to go up to prestige 3 so I'll talk a little bit more about that in just a second. In here you will find the Soul Reaper bosses which is one of the NPCs that you would find inside the uh, Resurgence raid as well. Whenever you kill these you will get yourself some points that you would then be able to spend right here at the raid champion. As you can see you can get yourself the raid orb tier 1, you can get yourself some resurgence keys, you can get the 10% raid drop rate and double drop rate scroll as well as a scroll of tribrid. I'll also explain a little bit more about those in just a second. As you can see this will cost you 4000 raid bonus points that you would be able to obtain by killing these NPCs. Now if you use this raid ring right here in the middle you can actually go to raid tier 2 and raid tier 3. So for tier 2 of course you would need prestige level 2 as well and for tier 3 you would need prestige level 3. Now if we go to tier 2 as you will see that the NPCs are from the second rate of the Helion rate of course. So you have the Helion demons right there. Once again if you kill those you will get yourself some rate 2 points that you would once again be able to spend at the shop. Now the shop is different for every single tier as you can see right here you will be able to get yourself a rate orb tier 2 and of course the Helion keys. Also the prices of these scrolls will actually be lower the higher tier that you go because as you will see whenever we go to tier 3 it will go down to almost 3000 points which is a lot lower than of course tier 1 and 2 if we go ahead and trade right here and you can also obtain the raids orb tier 3 here together with the trinity keys. Now if we go to the zone of course the NPCs from this one will of course once again be some of the NPCs that you would find in the actual raid for example the trinity warriors. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about the scrolls in this shop. For example, you have the raids drop rate and double drop rate. This is something new on the RuneScape private server scene, especially since they have separated the drop rate between bosses and actual raids. So you can now earn raids drop rate that will work specifically for the raids chest only. So therefore you can now go ahead and buy some increased drop rate and double drop rate scrolls, which of course is super awesome. With this also, they have a brand new full drop rate rework. So that was completely reworked. So instead of it being based of a percentage, it's now actually different. For example, if you have a plus 600 drop rate bonus, the drop rate uh, and the drop rate is 1 in 3000 the drop rate will actually turn into 1 in 2400 so instead of being it a high percentage it will just take the number of npc kills on average that it would require to get a certain drop off so therefore that is brand new as well now they also did a double drop rate rework so this um, system is now very similar to how the drop rate actually works as well so that is once again absolutely amazing now before i go ahead and talk about the orbs that you can get from these shops i do need to showcase a brand new boss that has been added as well if we go to the bosses scroll all the way down to the bottom you'll find the heroic archer which is a brand new boss that has been added to the server now this boss will drop a few new unique things that you haven't seen on uh, Genesis before so pretty much you do need 1000 Talos as a requirement before you would be able to fight the heroic archer if we go ahead and check out the drop table real quick as you can see you will be able to get bullet cases projectiles and powder I'll tell a little bit more about that in just a second now before we get into that I do want to announce this new raid aura 
as you can see this is a very rare drop one in 3588 chance of this being a drop now if you do manage to get this the orbs that you would uh, be able to buy from the shops that i mentioned earlier you would be able to use these on this aura to actually go ahead and upgrade it and make it into a better version which is sick you can do this all the way up to five different variations Right, speaking of new things, as you can see I have the Helion Wings in my inventory together with a Trinity attachment. If I use this on my wings, there is actually a brand new wing added to the game, which is the Trinity Wings, as you can see right there. All you need is one attachment and of course one of the Helion Wings. If I go ahead and unequip my, um, what's it called, my cosmetic set real quick so I can actually showcase how this looks. You can see that the Trinity Wings actually look super nice. They do have the Trinity symbol together with the uh, particles and some arms that are coming around it or something which looks super dope. Um, also, I didn't mention this earlier, but if you check out the drop table once again of um, what's it called, the heroic archer right here, you should see that the bullet case, projectile and powder is actually used to upgrade the heroic bullets. The heroic bullets, once again, as you can see, tier 1 can be upgraded. It's a rare drop at a 1 in 3634 chance. Now, if we go to the forge, whenever you have the heroic bullets tier 1, together with all of the other items, if you go ahead and check out the forge, we scroll down all the way to the bottom normally somewhere here you should be able to find the heroic bullet so i'll be back in just a second whenever i can find it because there are quite a lot of items in here oh never mind actually here we go just found the heroic bullet so as you can see you do need the heroic bullets tier one you do need 500 of the bullet cases projectiles and powder and this will have a 100 success rate so you will not have a chance of failing this so that is super nice and then you would have the bullets tier two now as you can see when you go a little bit more down in the list there is also heroic bullets tier 3. For this of course you would need a tier 2 version together with 1.5k of all of the other requirements. Once again 100% uh, success rate of upgrading this into the tier 3 um, bullets. Tier 3 I believe is the best tier that you can get for now. I'm not 100% sure if this will remain the best tier but for now this is the best thing that you would be able to obtain. Now moving on, of course, they still have some other things that I want to showcase. A brand new drop generator has been added as well, which I think is super awesome. This is an interface that players can use to test their drop rate and see what items they would get. Essentially simulate the loot that you would get from X amount of kills. So for example, if I do con column drops, um, 3477 and then 10,000. 3477 is the NPC ID, 10,000 is the amount of kills that I want to simulate. So, as you can see, this is from the brand new Heroic Archer. 10,000 drops would obtain me 3. Point something K of all of these. Then I would also get 400 of the bronze caskets, 400 fantastic keys, 400 superior mystery boxes, some gold casket release boxes, platinum caskets, and only one of the heroic bullets. So, this 10,000 kills simulation would actually be super unlucky because i didn't even get the aura or nothing now you can of course go ahead and do this as many times as you want every single time it will be a little bit different as this is just a simulation and not the actual drops that you will be obtaining now i should also mention that you can also do this for rates if you type colon colon drops um just like that and then you do the id one two or three this will be simulating for rates one two or three if you go ahead and do for example drops one five hundred this should simulate the drops for five hundred of the resurgence rates as you can see from that i didn't even get myself one of the rare drops once again i did get demon hunter box right there some of the demon hunter goodie bags but unfortunately no rare items now moving on from that i just want to mention that they will be doing weekly updates on genesis from now on so the realm has actually declared weekly updates across all realm servers that are currently live so this will be the second update on genesis sticking to this schedule and they are on track for the third week in a row now as well whenever eclipse gets released they will also be doing weekly updates on eclipse whenever they have a stable uh, stable schedule for both of these servers they will start working on the next server and so on until they have a bunch of servers alive but with all that said this is where i will be ending off today's video guys i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did make sure to smash the like button subscribe if you didn't already also make sure to enter the beautiful giveaway and i'll be catching you guys in my next video peace